Well, uh, I don't know who didn't see this coming, but this is just the reality of the situation. Welcome to the brand new college football universe. Uh, we've got ourselves some brand new action in the conference realignment. And of course, the this was, this was coming. I mean, this was obviously going to happen. Once it was announced that Oklahoma and Texas were moving their way to the SEC in 2024, whichever that would be, uh, right now, 2023, or two seconds before the conference is actually realigned, uh, it was coming. You knew there were other, going to be other changes to the conferences. And the big news for today, the Big Ten and the Pac-12, well, specifically, or, uh, specifically USC and UCLA, have come to a consensus and agreement that USC... And UCLA will be moving to the Big Ten Conference in 2024. So this is obviously, this is really, really big news for a lot of reasons. The first one being that geography-wise, conferences don't, don't care anymore. You know, because <laughs> California, especially the coastal area, USC and UCLA, that's where they are. Come on. They're all the way over in the coastal side of California, while the rest of the teams, the closest team to them is Nebraska, which is like how many miles? 1,500, somewhere around that range. It's, that's a lot of distance to, to, uh, to go. And for them, for UCLA and USC to just come out and be like, yeah, we want to go to the Big Ten, it, it throws a lot of people off, I think, and because of the fact that they're just so far away from each other. This is like when West Virginia went to the Big 12. The closest team to West Virginia is all the way down in Texas. So it, it really throws a lot of people off. And so with the Big 10 picking up these two new teams, they now move up to 16 teams to counter the SEC's 16 teams. And of course, the big news and the big thing about this is, does that mean that other conferences are going to expand, yes. But you can't expand a conference without poaching another one, and that's exactly what the, what's going to be happening to the Pac-12. On top of USC and UCLA, I've heard news that Oregon and Washington are making plans to move to a different conference, that probably being the Big Ten. But first, they're hearing news from Notre Dame. And this is where, where I think the ACC rolls on in. See, the ACC has gone untouched for a little while now. There's been a whole bunch of news about, why have you got a Notre Dame man? They're on, the, they're on the ACC basketball conference. Now would be a better time than ever to screw over both conferences and say, we're adding Notre Dame. And on top of that, I think it's about time West Virginia moves to a new conference too. That's where they go into the occasion, which means that the Big 12 is about to lose another member and that probably means, of course, with the Big 12's new alignment, of course, they're adding BYU, Houston, Cincinnati, I believe, and I think one other team. I forgot who it was. So they're making expansions, too. That'll probably change or expand even further than that before we reach the actual realignment. So it makes me wonder, of course, with Oregon and Washington wanting to go to the Big Ten, too, that's going to move the amount of teams from 16, including USC and UCLA in the Big Ten, to 18. That's the first time that I think a conference has gone up past 16 teams. That's some big news. Even in the NCAA 14, it won't let you go past uh, 16 teams. It's unheard of. Anything like that is just insane. Uh, so I don't know what it's going to mean for realignment in the future but there's a lot of things we're uncertain of right now that's for sure that's a big fat guarantee that is that is for certain and uh i mean we're only midway through 2022 so anything can happen from now until the end of 2023 and if i had to guess this isn't the last we're going to hear of it the acc is most definitely going to make some moves and it's probably going to be adding more to the conference. And then I heard that, oh, well, Clemson, Florida State, Miami, one of those teams, probably two or three maybe, they're going to move to the SEC. And that's something I'm not so sure of. Uh, I mean, that would be insane to have an Omega Super Conference like that. But, I mean, what, do, what I mean, who knows? Anything can happen. If USC and UCLA can go to the Big Ten, who knows? The Big East may come back. We, I mean, we don't know. 
Uh, anything can happen. Anything. So, yeah, uh, that, that's all there is to it. Uh, there really isn't much else to say about it other than, uh, you know, it's going to be real interesting when we see things like UCLA versus Rutgers. What a matchup that's going to be, let me tell you. Whoa, the excitement coming from that one is just going to be woo. I just think it's funny also how Lincoln Riley did his best to dodge the SEC by moving from Oklahoma to USC, and now he's going to play in the Big Ten. So, where's he going to jump to next? Uh, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be too comfortable if I was a recruit at USC. I would jump ship now and find somewhere else to go because you already know that that's what Lincoln Riley's getting ready to do. Getting ready to pull that old Lane Kiffin maneuver. Anyway, uh, that, that's all there is to it. By the way, uh, in case you forgot, the finale of the Tardarian playoffs, well, one of the finales, the 15, or the Paul Feinbaum Bowl, excuse me, Georgia Tech and Illinois, two irrelevant teams in the third dimension, they're playing in the fifth dimensional semifinal round, so... There, that's a premiering at 8 o'clock Eastern tonight, and it's probably premiering right now as you're watching this video, or afterwards, I don't know, when you watch this video. Regardless, go check that out. Uh, you, who knows what'll happen. There's a little bit of a storm coming in, so we may be in a little bit of weather, weather delay, but I, I, I don't know. Well, until then, uh, I'm sure we're... I'm sure we're getting ready to see a bunch of new conference realignments, some more new crap, uh... The college football world is ever expanding, but one thing will always be stagnant for sure. Tennessee is Vandy's daddy. We'll see you later.